What's going on guys, Mizu back here with another video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to air dribble from the ground. Now what that is, is basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the ball from the ground from a dribbling position and be able to air dribble the ball in whatever way that you want to. If you want to learn how to do something like that, um, definitely stick around and watch the video. That is the basic fundamental like building block for you to be able to start doing air dribble bumps or air dribbles from the ground or flip resets from the ground. It essentially just allows you to do a bunch of different crazy mechanics that you guys have probably seen on YouTube or something like that or maybe professional gameplay. So definitely stick around and watch this video because I'm going to teach you guys how to do this very simple mechanic and it's going to be a great building block for you guys to learn on how to start doing mechanics like that. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, essentially what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to show you guys how to pop the ball up. That is the most important part. The air dribble to follow just takes time and practice. However, the one thing that I can really show you guys on how to do is pop the ball up correctly to allow yourself to air dribble the ball. So I often see people popping the ball up like this and trying to go for an air dribble and it just doesn't work, right? You're like, why? Why can't I air dribble? I see everyone else doing it. I want to air dribble the ball and I'm trying. It's just like, it just is straight. I can't get it up. The most important part of being able to do an air dribble is popping the ball high. That is the most important part. You don't want to pop the ball in the front of your car like you're doing a musty flick. Like, you guys know how you have to have the ball really far up in, on your car to be able to do a musty flick and all these different types of flicks, right? You want the ball near the front of your car. For this, you want the ball near the back of your car. You see those little lines in my car, those five little lines on the top of my hood right before my engine. You guys see that right there? That's where you want the ball directly in the middle of your car and you're gonna jump twice to pop the ball up so what's gonna happen is you're gonna get the ball like right here and you're gonna pop it up and once you get that perfect pop you get a lot of height on it and you jump twice all you got to do is air roll your car so you're facing towards the ball and just start boosting towards it and at that point you got to start practicing the catches so um i've demonstrated what it looks um to be able to do this in free play um i do recommend just going up in free play and practicing catching the ball and being able to flick it like this and just practice hitting the crossbar with it. If you can start doing that and practicing hitting the crossbar, you're, um, in my opinion, able to move on to the second step of this tutorial. So again, you guys just really want to focus on being able to do this and air dribble it into the crossbar. And once you can do that, then move on to the second step of the tutorial, which is using a training pack and actually practicing. Okay, now I got the pop. Now I got the that the beginning of the air dribble, what can I do to really execute it and keep the ball and, and make sure that I'm actually being able to score with these because this is supposed to be something you can use in game, right? So this has to be something realistic. We're not actually hitting the crossbar every time we air dribble, right? This has to be realistic. So let's put some realism in it. Let's put some game-like scenarios in this training and, and really practice being realistic with it. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the training pack. Hey guys, what's going on? We're back here with the training pack component of the video. This is going to be the training pack. The code is also going to be in the description as well. Uh, definitely go check out this training pack. Super solid training pack for um, being able to... There we go. Right here, this training pack. Basic dribbling skills. The download code's on the screen and it's also in the description. Um, very solid training pack for not only air dribble... Um, flicks from the ground, but just anything really. If you're trying to practice your flicks, this is a super solid training pack. Um, but it is extremely good in my opinion for being able to air dribble from the ground. So essentially what you're gonna wanna do, um, little little tip by the way, if you're gonna do this training pack, do it with ball cam off. You don't wanna do ball cam on because that's what it looks like. It's just like the ball, your camera's going everywhere. Turn off ball cam, that way you're just chilling. So we're gonna catch the ball, just tap the gas, catch the ball. Now what we're going to do is obviously to be able to air dribble from the ground, you need to have ball control like this where you can dribble it in the net. If you can do something like this almost every single time and dribble the ball in the net every time, you'll be able to do this from the ground. Okay, so now that you have that ball control, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to again get the ball about right here. You guys see how far back it is on my car? You want to get the ball about right there. You guys see that? Near the back side of your car. You want to get the ball right there. What we're going to do is we're going to generate a little bit of speed so that way the ball's moving forward and then we're going to jump twice. 
And the second after you jump twice, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to jump after the ball. And this is where the air dribbling component comes in. Now, personally, I tend to air roll. Do air roll lefts. Doesn't really matter what you want to do, to be honest. You can do manual air roll or air roll left. You don't even have to air roll. Like, I can, I can air dribble without air rolling. It doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. Um, Whatever is more comfortable for you. It doesn't matter if you want to air roll or not, or air roll left, or air roll right, or manual air roll. It's just completely up to you. Whatever is comfortable. The most important part is getting a good pop up into the air and then immediately following it. You need to follow this ball immediately. You can't wait at all. So it's a, it's literally like that. You're going to go pop and then follow right away. So you got to get the ball middle of my car, get some speed, pop, follow the ball. Middle of my car, get some speed, pop, follow the ball. Those are the four steps. Middle of my car, get some speed, pop, follow the ball. Do you see that? Every time, you're just gonna wanna do that. And I'm really focused on trying to get the steps here, so I'm not, my air dribbles aren't super solid, but you wanna get the middle of your car, get some speed, pop, and follow the ball. So I personally air roll left when I do it. I just find it to be easier for myself. However, it does depend on the situation. Sometimes I don't air roll or sometimes I'll air roll manually, but um, that's essentially what you're gonna wanna do. Now you guys may be asking me, well, I can get the pop, but how am I supposed to air dribble? To be completely honest, there's no like press this button or get this ball on the certain part of your car to be able to do this. It's just you need to practice it. You need to have momentum getting behind the ball and pushing the ball forward. That's that's how you have to think about it. It's just practice. But the way that you can think about it if you want is just what the heck is just being able to push the ball forward with your momentum and you want to be pushing it with your nose of your car. So here, let's do it. Show you guys with no air roll. So it's super simple. You just want to be pushing the ball like this in reality. That's literally all it is. You got to pop the ball, follow it right away, and just push it with your nose. Just push the ball. That's all you got to do. Now, this is only one shot out of like four in this training pack. So let's go into the second shot here because these are all really good practice. This one practice is actually having to catch the ball yourself. I think it's really good practice and it gives you some some depth as well so I do highly recommend once you get good at popping the ball use the second shot to really practice your air dribbles because you're gonna need to practice actually catching the ball yourself in a game like scenario and this one is an extremely game like scenario where you have to catch the ball go sideways to be able to do this. so if you are getting really good at doing the directly forward air dribble pops from this video definitely do the third shot third shots gonna be extremely extremely beneficial and if you have Bacchus mod then Press the down arrow, switch the sides. Maybe do it from this side. Just really practice different things. It's gonna allow you to really have a lot more game-like scenario experience, which is very important in Rocket League. This is the fourth shot. It's again, really awkward. You gotta turn and then have good ball control to be able to pop it. It's just really good practice, to be completely honest, um, for game-like scenarios to be able to use this. So when you have the ball in the middle of the field in infinite time, it's not very realistic. You'll rarely ever be in a position where you have to do that. It's going to be more something like this, where you have to turn into the middle of the field from the outside and then air dribble. So shot three and four are very realistic um, to what a game would be like. And one and two are just for practice. So if you guys are getting good at it, um, start with one. Once you get good at being able to air dribble from the ground, then go to two, catch the ball yourself and be able to air dribble from the ground, being able to catch the ball yourself. And then once you get good at that, then go to three and practice being able to catch the ball, turn and then do it. That's very realistic to a game. And if you get good at that, then just mess around with four as well. Four is just a variant of three. It's about the same thing. There's not too much difference there, but uh, three and four are for when you get really good at it. I hope this tutorial helped you guys I think uh, the main thing that you guys got to take away again is the four steps that I was telling you guys Get the ball in the middle of your car get some speed pop it up immediately follow it That is how to set it up and I promise you guys the setup is the most important part You guys have to get this ball high up in the air if you don't get the ball high enough Even if you're pushing the ball along, it's just gonna go like this It's just gonna be straightforward and it's not very high you want to be getting the ball nice and high every time. That way it allows you 
lots of um, verticality on your air dribble, which allows you, okay, I'm already high up with my air dribble. Now I can really start focusing on getting some speed on this thing. Rather than having to be about here and not very high, now you gotta really start pushing the ball up and now your focus is going up rather than straight. So you're not gonna be able to get as much speed and the defenders will be able to save it a lot easier. So definitely really focus on getting lots of height on your air dribbles. Um, it's gonna allow you to be able to do a lot more um, with the ball. Again, you actually have to execute the air dribble, so being able to air dribble does help a lot. However, you can be the best air dribbler in the entire world, but if you don't have a good setup on the ball, it's gonna be really hard to air dribble. So being able to get a really good pop into an air dribble is super important. So make sure that is your guys' priority. If you guys can get that um, consistent, solid setup every single time, then at that point, you're giving yourself the best chance to learn how to air dribble. If you're giving yourself crappy setups every time and going, why can't I air dribble? You're not practicing air dribbling. You're practicing like, I don't even know, man. Like it's, it's not air dribbling because it's not a good setup. So if you give yourself good setups and can't air dribble at that point, it's because you need to work on air dribbling. So really make that your priority in how to learn how to air dribble from the ground. Very solid. Um, mechanic again that's gonna set it's it's your foundation for being able to essentially like learn how to do more breezy flex get good pops on the ball um, maybe go for a reverse musty flick or if I had more space it'd be an easier demonstration but being able to like air dribble bump for example that's a really solid one maybe flip resetting from the ground. So you pop the ball up. I don't know how much room here, so it's gonna be tough, but getting like a flip reset on the ball. All of that comes from being able to air dribble from the ground and get a good setup, which is, again, I can't emphasize this enough, extremely important to being able to execute this mechanic. So make sure that you guys are really focusing and prioritizing the setup. It is the most important part of being able to execute this mechanic. And once you get that down again, just focus on pushing the ball along with your momentum and immediately following the ball. I hope that this tutorial video helped you guys learn how to air dribble from the ground and start building a foundation for yourself to be able to get some of these cooler mechanics in Rocket League, which definitely are some of my favorite for sure. So I hope I helped you guys out and you guys learned a thing or two. Um, catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you guys are enjoying the content, which clearly you guys are if you made it through this far into the video, uh, consider doing the things that are free to support the channel, which would be following, subscribing, liking, or commenting on the video. I really do appreciate it so much. Every single thing that you guys can do to support the channel for free really does help me out a lot in being able to do this full time for you guys and give you guys content as my job. You guys are clearly enjoying the content if you made it this far through the video, so... Uh, supporting the channel allowing me to continue to make content for you guys to enjoy um, All you have to do in return for that to keep me able to do that for you guys is just support the channel by hitting the subscribe Follow like and comment button. I do appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys